Thank you, Dave. She should sing happy birthday for that. She yes. 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 yes, ought to sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nelly. Happy birthday to you. Be cheers for Nelly. Hey, hey. Breath and blow them out. Blow them out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she got. Get near her, that's it. Don't sing your eye, bro. Hey! Hey! Right, now cut it and make a wish. <laughs> she blew one of the candles right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Oh, I'm not cutting through that. <laughs> <coughs> no, you take the ribbon off. No? Just so to make a cut. Oh. Just like a neck. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I do it now. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't no, matter. It's not doing your sort of thing. It's a Very good. That's Very it. good. Thank you. Lovely. Speech. Mm. All right, shall we have a. Yes. Drink the health of yeah. yes. N Alan yes. Nelly. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 ten years. Yeah. <laughs> right, you've got to say a poem now. Mm. Has she got one? <laughs> mm. Not funny. funny. You can be what you like, what you make and what you think. Uh. It's not the page. I haven't found it yet. Oh. <laughs> These are all my new ones, what's in that boot? Um, it's called What is Age? Oh, no. What is Age? I just can't believe I'm 90. I'm certain it is true. I was born in dull November. In 1902, when I look back all down the years, I think how times have changed. I finished going to the school at 13 years of age. In those days, it didn't matter just how little we did learn. For like scores of others, our living we to earn. I remember once the teacher said, now tell me if you please the kind of job you'd like to do when school you have to leave. And so I said, a millionaire, that's what I'd have to do. She said, hats, that's interesting. I hope your dream come true. I looked at her and then I said, I felt she ought to know that what I meant was really in the mill I'd have to go. Of course, I never worried you knew it had to be. Like thousands in those bygone days, know the choice had we. For every shilling that we earned, for ourselves we got a penny. Still with lots of happy times and pleasures we had many. Children now can go to school and sit most any test. But only time alone can tell if it is for the best. And then sometime I wonder, as I look back through time, would my life have been the richer? Would more blessings have been mine? I have a close-knit family. With help, they'd never fail. And countless happy memories and a thousand lovely days. I, oh, I can't say. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just can't believe I'm 90. I'm really getting on. But hope that I'll be still around when I reach 91. <laughs> My phone went. And 
And I thought, oh, oh, and I'd just got my hands all sticky with butter and that, and I thought, shall I answer it? And I thought, well, I better add, you know. Anyway, when I picked it up, it, she got the wrong n number. I thought, well, I'm good heck. So after I'd finished, I got pen and pencil out. Well, it's in that boot. So it's only short as this. I'll have to blow my doors. Blow my doors, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Now then, the other day I was making a nice current loaf when suddenly my phone gave a ring. I got in a splutter, my hands covered in butter. I thought, shall I answer it? I just let it ding. Then I thought that I'd better. And I picked up the receiver. After getting a cloth to wipe each buttered finger, then a voice said, so sorry. I'm beginning to wonder if I perhaps have got the wrong number. I said, who's speaking? But she put down the phone. So next time I'm starting to cook, I'll not get in a splutter with my hands covered in butter. I'll take the phone off the hoop. <laughs> It's a good old age, isn't it? And relict his wife, Anne. Yeah. They use the word relict instead of widow. widow. Huh? And William Scarborough. Yeah. Died. This is the back of uh, Met Vera's cottage. This is the view from the back. This is the Pennine Way along here. By the way, it's April the 25th, the view from the top of this escarpment. And part of the Yorkshire Moors. And there's the cottages, Middleton. One in the field just now I didn't know was there almost came to see me off when I saw her little lambs at the top. Take the view around on the outcrop of rock. The uh, road is Gill Top, going up to Gill Top. My grandmother's family were the Gills. It's over towards Oakway, the worthy, where we left the caravan. Can't leave it near the cottage because of the narrow street. Middleton? The workers' cottage that our family had at one time. It's because it had a top floor where the looms were, hand looms were. Church over there. Here's Cottage, which is over here to the right. The beds are mainly planted with flowers, but at the corners there are standard gooseberries, a gooseberry bush grafted onto another tree. Yeah. Unlike the buildings in the area, the garden walls are built of brick. Being more porous than stone, they are able to absorb heat during the day. Bank Hall. Park. The place where you were at yesterday. It's part of the outside of the park. Hush. There's a lovely stream washing down. This is the sort of countryside you get all the way through here. Dad going 
out there. There's the extensive grounds.